Hello everyone. Now I'm going to tell about National Educational Policy 2020. The agendas are vision and key, key principles, universal access and early childhood education. How children will learn curricular and pedagogic structures, curriculum, learning outcomes, competences, school complex, accreditation, teachers, education and development. NAP new features, key fo focus areas, equity, gender, special needs, goals and implementation plan. Our next point is vision of the National Education Policy 2020, an education system that contributes to an equitable and vibrant knowledge society by providing high quality education to all, develops a deep sense of respect towards the fundamental rights, duties and constitutional values. Bonding with one's country and a conscious awareness of one's role and responsibilities in a changing world. Instill skills, values and dispositions that support responsible commitment to human rights, sustainable development and living and global well-being, thereby reflecting a truly global citizen. Key principles of them. respect for diversity and local context in all curriculum, pedagogy, and policy, equity and inclusion as the concern. As the cornerstone of all educational decisions. Next is community, sorry, community participation, encouragement and facilitation for philanthropic, private and community participation. Use of technology in teaching and learning, removing language barriers of deviant students and in educational planning and management. Emphasize conceptual understanding rather than rote learning and learning for exam. Unique capabilities, recognizing, identifying them in each student. Critical thinking and creativity to encourage logical decision making and innovation. Continuous review based on sustained research and regular assessment by educational experts. The next point tells about universal access to early childhood care and education. Universal access. For children of three to six years, access to free, safe, high quality ECCE at Anganwari's preschool, Valvatika. Foundational learning curriculum for age groups of 3 to 8 divided into two parts. Part 1 from age 3 to 6 in ECCE and age 6 to 8 in class 1 and 2 in primary school. Multifactored, flexible, multi level, play based activity-based and inquiry-based learning. Preparatory class. Prior to the age of five, every child will move to a preparatory class or valvatika, that is before class one. Next point. Ensuring universal access to education at all levels, multiple pathways, multiple pathways to learning involving both formal and non-formal education moves, build schools, 
promoting both governments and yeah. non-governmental philanthropic organization to build schools learning outcomes focus will be on achieving desired learning outcomes yeah. at all levels bring back drop out yeah. to bring drop out children back to school alternative centers alternative and innovative education centers peer tutoring suitable for all categories business and personal presentation next is about expected outcomes universalization of access from ECCE to secondary ensuring equality and inclusion bring back to course out of school children attain SDC goals of retaining all children in schools until completion of secondary education improve quality and achievement of learning outcomes foundational literacy and numeracy focus on 21st century skill is teaching learning and assessment resource sharing school complexes effective governance separation of powers and common norms overcoming the language barrier in learning common standards for public and private school education next question occurs how children will learn we can see transforming curricular and pedagogical structure we can divide it into two. existing academic structure that is two years ten years two years 16 to 18 10 years 6 to 16 the new academic structure like that four years class 9 to 12 age 14 to 18 then three years class 6 to 8 age 11 to 14 then three years class 3 to 5 age 8 to 11 two years class 1 and 2 age 6 to 8 three years onganwari preschool valvatika age 3 to 6 that's where we can see foundational preparatory middle and secondary new pedagogical and curricular structures of school education that will we can say in short 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 3 years in Ongunwari preschool and 12 years, 12 years in school secondary stage multidisciplinary study greater critical thinking flexibility and student choice of subjects middle age that is 3 ex experiment Experiential learning in the science, mathematics, arts, social science, and humanities. Preparatory stage 3. Play, discovery, and activity based and interactive classroom learning. Foundational age. Multi label play, activity based learning. Then we'll know about ECCE framework. National Curricular and Pedagogical Framework for Early Childhood Education NCPFECE will be drafted by NCRT. Research and Best Practice. It will be aligned with the latest research on ECCE and national and international best practices. Multi Affected from work comprising of alphabets, language, numbers, counting, colors, shapes, indoor, outdoor place, puzzles, and logical thinking, problem solving, drawing, painting, other visual art, craft, drama, property, music, movement, school preparation model. A three months play based school preparational model for all grade one student to be developed by NCRT. Next is early childhood education, learning in the formative years. We can see many sections here developing 
curiosity, logical thinking, problem solving, like art, car, music, relationship with nature, colors, shapes, alphabet, numbers, teamwork and collaboration, play-based and discovery-based learning, ethics, self-identity, etiquette, behavior and emotional development. Next point tell about attainment of fundamental foundational literacy and numeracy by grade 3 in mission mode. Early learning focus on early reading, writing, mathematics, book promotion, national book promotion policy will be formulated and public and school libraries will be expanded. Three months play-based school, three months play-based school preparation model for all grade one students. National repository. National repository high quality teaching and learning resources on this picture. Foundational skills, universal acquisition of foundational learning skill libraries school libraries including digital libraries to be leveraged national mission national mission on foundation literacy and numeracy then we'll move to curriculum Reduction in curriculum. Core essentials. Curriculum in all subjects to be reduced to its core essentials. Critical thinking. Focus on critical thinking, inquiry, discovery, discussion, analyze, base teaching and learning methods of holistic education. Interactive classes. Interactive teaching with reduced Dependency on textbook learning. Questions from students will be promoted. Experi experiential learning. Fun, creative, collaboratory and exploratory activities in classroom for experiential learning and deeper student learning. Curriculum and pedagogy to be transformed by 2022 to promote skill-based and minimize road-based learning. Revision of NCF for school education and NCF for teaching education 2009 by 2021. Focus on LOS competencies and subject integrations. Competency-based education. Models on preparing and implementing pedagogical plans based on competency and outcome-based education for school leaders. Integration of subjects through arts integrated, sports integrated, ICT integrated, storytelling-based pedagogy, among others, a standard pedagogy. Development of scientific temper. Development of scientific temper and inculcation of knowledge and practice of human and constitutional values such as patriotism, sacrifice, non-violence, truth, honesty, peace, etc. No hard separation between curriculum, co-curricular, extracurricular, academic, vocational, science, humanities, sports, arts, academics. Emphasize on digital literacy. Emphasize on digital literacy, coding and computational thinking, ethics and moral reasoning. Promotion of multilingual teaching, promoting state to enter into bilateral agreements with nearby state to hire linguist teachers. Next is mental and physical health and well-being. Mandatory for students to acquire skill in health and nutrition, physical education, fitness, wellness and sports. Health checks up. 
annual health checking for all students reduce weight of school bags reduce weight of school bags is a important point as school bags and textbooks through suitable changes in curriculum and pedagogy mandatory skills health and wellness mandatory skills to be imbibed by all students health nutrition physical education fitness wellness sports in addition basic training in pre preventive health care mental health first aid personal and public hygiene will be included in the curriculum hiring counselors in school complexes state governments will be encouraged to hire adequate number of counselors and teachers to be shared across school complex focus on children with disability differentiated interventions and suitable infrastructure developed at schools to make access easier for children with disability inclusive and caring culture at school the rule and expectation of principal and teachers will explicitly explicitly include developing a caring and conclusive culture at school the next point is innovative pedagogy transforming teaching learning processes experiment experiential learning focus on experiential inquiry discovery based on teaching learning methods integrated pedagogy arts sports and story telling and ict integrated pedagogy promotion of peer tutoring promotion promoting peer tutoring as voluntary and joyful activity under the supervision of teachers equal weightage no hard separation between curricular co-curricular and extracurricular area freedom of choosing a variety of subject combination to be provided bagless days bagless days refer to be scheduled in academic calendar use and integration of technology integration of technology enable pedagogy in class 6 to 12 the next point is textbook with local content and flavor all textbooks to contain only essential core materials while capturing any desired nuances and supplementary material as per local context and needs states to prepare their own curricular and textbook based on ncert curriculum and textbooks incorporating state flavor and material as needed affordable high quality and energized textbook to be providing among with free digital version on diksha platform concentrated efforts through suitable change in curriculum and pedagogy to significantly reduce the weight of school bags and textbooks next is india's future and india's leadership role in upcoming fields computational thinking increase emphasis on mathematics and computational thinking throughout the school areas sorry school years computational thinking activities involving coding will be introduced in middle stage mathematical thinking and problem solving inculcate mathematical thinking and problem solving through a variety of innovative methods including the regular use of puzzles and games including contemporary subjects in schools teaching of contemporary subjects at middle age and secondary stages artificial intelligence design thinking holistic health organic living environmental education global citizenship education gced next point is knowledge of india video documentaries on inspi inspirational 
luminaries of India in science and beyond. Students will be given a logical framework for making ethical decisions at a young age. In later years, expanded along themes of cheating, violence, plagiarisms, littering, tolerance, equality, empathy. Traditional Indian values and all basic human and constitutional values will be developed in all students. Experts from the Indian constitution will also be considered essential reading for all students. Basic training in health, mental health, good nutrition, personal and public hygiene, disaster response and first aid will also be included, will be incorporated in an accurate and scientific manner wherever relevant. Indian knowledge systems including tribal knowledge and indigenous and tribal traditional ways of learning will be covered. Specific courses in tribal ethno-medicinal practices, forest management, traditional crop cultivation, natural farming, etc. will also be made available. Curriculum to include knowledge from ancient India to modern India as well as future aspirations, scientific explanation of the detrimental and damaging effects of alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs will be part of curriculum. Next is examinations in grades 1 to 8, key stage assessments. Census assessments at key stage in classes 3, 5, and 8 to track achievement. Achievement of critical LOS. Testing of focus on achievement of essential learning outcomes. Moving away from rote learning. Assessment of core concepts and knowledge. Higher order skills and its application in real life situations. Moving away from rote learning. Results of school examination. The result of school examination will be used only for developmental purpose and for continuous monitoring and improvement of the schooling system. Next is reforming examinations in grade 9 to 12 including board exams. Board exams will be made easier as they will test primarily core capacities competences, verbal modes to be explored, annual, semester, modular exam, two parts exams, objective type and descriptive type. Guidelines will be prepared by NCRT in consultation with SCRT's boards of assessment, BOAS and PARAK. Teachers to be prepared for all transformation in the assessment system by the 2022-23 to 23 academic session. Each student, each school board shall ensure equivalence of academic standards in learners' attainments, standards, norms, and guidelines for school boards through Prakash National Center. Parak National Center. Transforming the culture of assessment. Continuous tracking of learning outcomes of each child. Board exams to be more flexible with assessment of essential skills. Assessment to focus on core concepts. Higher order and foundational skills. AI-based software to help track the progress of the students to enable them to make optimal career choice. National Assessment Center will help in bringing greater synergy in board exams conducted by various boards of assessment, self-assessment and peer assessment. The National Testing Agency, NTA, will work to offer a high-quality common aptitude test to Eliminated the need 
for taking coaching for these exams. Holistic progress card states it is to redesign progress cards in school to make them holistic. 360 degree multi-dimensional report. Progress card will include self-assessment, peer assessment and teacher assessment. Cards to reflect the progress and uniqueness of learner in the cognitive, affective, socio-emotional and psychomotor domains. Progress in project-based and inquiry-based learning quizzes, role plays, group work, portfolios, etc. to be included in report cards. The holistic progress card will actively involve part parents in the children's education and development, AI-based software to be developed to help track growth through school years and to help students make optimal career choice. Next, multilingualism and the power of language learning. Medium of instruction. Up till grade 5 and preferably till grade 8 and beyond will be home language, mother, la mother tongue, local language. The languages, languages of India, a fun project activity on to be taken by every student. Three languages to be taught will be decided by state UT. All classical languages will be widely available in schools as options. This could, this could be Bengali, Hindi, Marathi, Gujarati, anything. Now about schools. School complexes, clusters. Val Bhavana. Val Bhavana, standing, setting up of Val Bhavana for children of all age group to partake in art related, career related and play related activities. Then comes Samajik Chetna Kendras. These will utilize capacity of schools to be used as Samajik Chetna Kendra to promote social, intellectual and voluntary activities. Then comes sharing resources, enable and sharing of human and infrastructural resources, efficiency, efficient Expedition and resourcing for school through building school complexes. Planning, development of short-term and long-term plans, SDPS. Governance, effective governance of school. Integration, better integration of education across all levels through connected schools and shared teachers and resources. Pairing school. Twinning pairing of one government school with one private school across the country. Next is standard setting and accreditation. Number one, setting up state school standards authority, SSSA, self disclosure of all the basic regulatory information of all schools at SSSA and school website. Number two, to ensure all schools follow certain minimal professional and quality standards. Number three, development of school qualities, assessment and accreditation framework, SQAAF by SCRT and NCRT. Periodic health checkup of the overall system through a sample-based National Achievement Survey NAS. Number four, a public and private school, except the central government school, will be assessed and accredited on common minimum criteria. Private philanthropic school to be encouraged and enabled to play the beneficial role then about the teachers, teacher education. 
Here we find three stages. First, first year B. Ed. For those who have completed the equivalent of four years multidisciplinary bachelor's degree of have obtained master's degree in, in a specialty. Two year B. Ed. For applicants with an existing bachelor's degree in other specialized subject. Four year integrated B. Ed minimum degree qualification for teaching that includes student teaching at local school by 2030. Teacher education will gradually be moved by 2030 into multidisciplinary college and universities. Multidisciplinary higher education institutions offering the four years in school integrated BA program to also provide blended and or ODL mode of teaching to students in remote areas. Next, Next is all BA programs will be included training in time tested techniques in pedagogy, multi-level teaching and evolution, teaching children with disability Teaching children with special interest or talent, use of education and technology and learner centered and collaboration learning. Shorter local teacher education programs to be available at BITES or it can say bites and diet or at school complexes for eminent local persons who can be hired to teach at school as master instructor for promoting local professions knowledge and skill local art for example local art music art, um, agriculture business sports carpentry and other vocational crafts then come improving teacher teacher education it has many points. All teacher education program must be conducted within composite multidisciplinary institutions. New and comprehensive national curriculum framework for teacher education by 2021. NTA testing for admission to be at stringent action against substandard standalone teacher education institute. TEIS National Higher Education Regulatory Council NHERC to function as single point regulator for higher education sector including teacher education. Only educationally sound multidisciplinary and integrated teacher education programs to be made available. Merit based scholarship for four years be it integrated. Setting off of national mission for mentoring with a large pool of outstanding senior re retired faculty. Teacher eligibility test tests at all stages will be strengthened. Teacher recruitment and development. Point one transparent transfer system, online computerized system for teacher transfer to ensure transparency number two strengthening tests teachers eligibility test for all teachers across foundational preparatory middle secondary stage in both public and private school number three test score and demonstration part of recruitment Subject score from TET or NTA test and classroom demonstration to be taken into account for recruitment of subject teacher. Teacher tech based planning for teacher recruitment. Technology based planning and forecasting of teacher recruitment to access expected subject wise teacher vacancies over next two decades. Next, 
restructuring of NCTE. NCTE to be restructured as a professional standard setting body PSSP under General Educational Council GEC certificate course developing specialization for subject or gener generalist teachers teaching children with disabilities with dying teacher during pre-service teacher preparation with synergy between NCTE and RCI next is empowering teacher it technology based computerized teacher recruitment planning forecasting access exercise to be conducted by each state teachers to have more autonomy in choosing aspects of pedagogy in classroom teaching career through career growth to be available for teacher within a single school stage that is foundational preparatory middle or secondary academic leadership positions to be made available for teachers national professional standards for teacher NPST by 2022 teacher professional development merit based tenure trick system met 50 hours of continuous professional development CDP improving service environment to a better infrastructure at school next school leadership necessary facilities for the initial professional preparation of these educators and their continuous professional development CPD CPD opportunities will in particular systematically cover the latest pedagogies at least 50 hours of CPD for teacher based on their own interest in professional areas ample opportunities to get upskilled on latest pedagogy related to foundational literacy literacy uh, numeracy formative and adaptive assessment of learning outcomes individualized individualized and competency based learning and related pedagogies key focus areas are like that focus on social economical disadvantaged group s e d g s can be broadly categorized based on gender identities particularly female and transgender individuals socio cultural identities such as scheduled caste scheduled tribes obc and minorities geographical identities such as students from village small towns and aspirational districts disabilities including learning disabilities and socio economic conditions such as migrant communities low income households children in vulnerable situation victims of or children of victims of trafficking Often including child beggars in urban areas and urban poor. Separate strategies will be formulated for focused attention for reducing each of the category wise gaps in school education. Ensuring equality. Interventions, the critical problems and recommendations regarding ECCE, foundational literacy and numeracy, enrollment and attendance will be targeted in a concerted way for socio-economically disadvantaged group, SEDGS, special mechanisms, special mechanisms for children belonging to tribe groups to receive equality education, learning outcomes, focus on attainment of learning outcomes of children belonging to SCST OBC large population from SEDZS to be declared special special education zone SEZS free waivers free waivers and scholarships will be offered to meritorious student from all SEDGS 
on a large scale. Counselors, recruitment of counselors in school, additional schools, setting up of additional JNVS and KVS is in aspirational district or SECS. Talking about gender, gender inclusion fund, gender inclusion fund for female and transgender students, safety and rights, careful attention of safe to safety and right to all children, particularly girl, to retain them in school. Bridging gender gap, focus on bridging the gender gap and provide equal opportunities to all. KGVVS, strengthening and extension of KGVVS up to grade 2. Policies targeted for girls. Trust on designing policies and schemes targeted towards female students is the SADGS, gender, gender sensitivity, gender sensitivity to be an integral now talking about supporting children with social needs cwsm regular schooling children with special needs will be integrated in the regular schooling process from elementary to higher education level enabling Mechanisms Mechanisms for CWSN or the bank to receive equality education. Assistive devices and orientation to parents. Technology enables assistive devices tools for CWSN and orientation of the tools device for parents caregivers. Models NIOS will develop high quality models to teach Indians sing language. Alternative school alternative forms of school will be encouraged to preserve the alternative pedagogical system certificate courses. Certificate courses for pre service and in service teachers to become special educators. Integrative vocational education at all levels. Point one Lokvidya. Lokvidya knowledge developed in India will be made accessible to students. Point two Practice based curriculum. A practice based curriculum for grades six to eight to be appropriately designed. Three Skills framework. National skills qualifications. Frameworks will be detailed further for each discipline, vocation, profession. Open distance learning mood course to be offered through open and distance learning ODL mood. Vocational crafts all students of grade six to eight will enter with local vocational experts such as carpenters, gardeners, porters artists etc to develop a vocational craft exposure to vocational education by 2025 at least 50 percent of learners shall have explored to vocational education next setting up of parak parak setting up of parak center for Performance assessment review and analysis of knowledge for holistic development assessment shift towards competency based assessment of 21st century skills promoting critical and creative thinking aligned to the 21st century in classrooms. Objectives of PARAC setting norms, standards, and guidelines for assessment and evolution, guiding the State Achievement Survey SAS in conducting the National Achievement Survey NAS hmm. monitoring achievement of learning outcomes in the country. Next, support for 
gifted students students with special talents encourage gifted or talented students pursue live beyond the general school curriculum efforts their interventional in rural areas and in regional language to ensure widespread participation project based clubs to be encouraged and supported and supported all levels in school olympiads and competitions in various subjects to be conducted across school extensive use of technology to encourage talented or gifted children ncert and ncte will develop guidelines for the education of gifted children be it program to allow specialization is edu in education to gifted children online and digital education inclusion and access access enhance educational access to disadvantaged group including the bank students digital platform digital platform and ongoing ict based educational initiatives to be optimized and expanded blended learning emphasize on effective models of blended learning pilot studies a series a series of pilot stu studies to be conducted content creation content creation digital repository and dissemination technology integration in technology learning and assessment expansion of platforms expansion of existing e learning platforms diksha swayam etc adult education and lifelong learning innovative initiatives innovative initiatives for adults with the help of community participation and technology integration integration with heis integration of adult education centers aecs with heis and other public institutions technology based options technology based high quality option for adult learning such as apps online courses models satellite based tv channels online books such as online books ict equipped libraries adult education centers etc to be developed through government and philanthropic initiatives the adult education curriculum to include following five types of program foundational literacy and numeracy critical life skill vocational skill development basic education continuing education now about goals and timelines for the implementation timelines of implementation of ece and new assessment pattern early childhood education initiating implementation of one year of pre primary school and three months pre preparatory models for class 1 standard phase 1 expansion of one year of pre primary school through primary schools and anganwadi this is phase 2 implementation of new curriculum and assessment it's about class 9 10 class 11 class 12 new board exam pattern for class 12 new board exam pattern for class 10 we can see the changes from 21 to 22 class 10 22 to 23 likewise 23 24 class 11 24 25 class 12 timelines of implementation in nep 2020 formulation national curricular framework for school education At attaining universal foundational literacy numeracy in all primary schools for all learners by grade 3 universal provisioning of equality early childhood development care policies full operational following this a comprehensive review will be undertaken
National Curricular Framework for Teacher Education. A common guideline set of national professional standards for teacher NPST teaching prepare, teachers prepared for a transformation in the assessment system state duty governments to optimize resource through mechanism to group or rationalize schools such as school complex at least 50 percent of learners exposed to vocational education in the school and higher education system teacher education will gradually be moved into multidisciplinary college and universities with minimum degree qualification four years be it only educational sound multidisciplinary and integrated teachers education program shall be enforced and all TEIS will be converted into multidisciplinary institutes. New features of the policy. New features. We can see three features. Preparation for schooling and elementary school level. ECCE for all by 2030 national curriculum framework for ECCE. Achieve 100% gross enrollment ratio in school education by 2030. Preparatory class, that is Valvatika, for 5 to 6 year old children in Anganwaris or preschools. School preparation models for all class 1 entrants. National Foundation Literacy and Numeracy Mission school infrastructure and resources then holistic development of students inclusively gender inclusion fund adult education gift for gifted children then assessment assessment we can see a prominent point about parak national assessment center of performance assessment review analysis of knowledge of holistic development Board exam models, low stakes, based on conceptual knowledge and its application, curriculum and pedagogical framework. New curricular and pedagogical framework of 5 plus, 3 plus, 3 plus, 4. Reduction in curricular to core concepts. ICT integration in teaching and learning methodologies. Then teaching requirements, teacher education, minimum qualification degree for teaching will be four years integrated BA degree by 2030. Teacher recruitment based on TET and TS test and, te and teaching demonstration. TET mandatory for teaching. Minimum 50 hours of in service training per teacher Per year. National Professional Standards for Teachers NPST by 2020. Rule of Government. Rule of Government, Departments, Bodies, Institutions. State Dep Department to take after policy making. Directorate of Education to look after operation SCRT to look after academics and state school standards authority to set minimum common standards for online online self disclosure by all public and private school random sampling of students for continuous online feedback on self disclo disclosure by school Engagement of social workers, alumni, retired teacher, and volunteer with schools. Strengthening the Central Advisory Board of Education for developing, art, articulating, evolution, and revising the vision of education on a continuous basis in collaboration with MHRD and corresponding apex body of state. It's desirable that Ministry of Human Research Development be redesigned as Ministry of Education MOE to bring the focus back on education and learning. Here we all discuss about the National Education Policy 2020. Thank you.